G'day, how you going? This is Glenn, you know, this is an opinion piece, you know. I just read an article in which the Americans think that Australia, or at least Melbourne, and Sydney are authoritarian dystopias, you know, like a ghoul way. Australia is just one great big prison. Western Australia is a big prison. Melbourne, big prison. You know, what the hell? This is just a, a lockdown for health benefits of Australians. And I see a lot of people in Australia have been infected with the American ideology of freedom. You know, we've never really gone down that path. Our constitution is nothing about personal freedoms. It's just a given. And, you know, the pretty much... In the past, like the First and Second World War, the governments have shown that they can restrict your freedom. Even the Vietnam War, government's going, yep, you're going into the army. Oh, you don't like it? Ah, oh, bad luck. You can either go to prison or you can go to Vietnam. Which one do you like? So, you know, is Australia a prison? Do we have... You know, police sitting at the front of my house, going up and down the street. Do I have army going up and down the street? Well, basically, in the past two years, uh, I've only seen police officers when they're doing their routine work. And where I live, I have not seen any of the army. So the army might be in the city. The city's that way. Yeah, going down south. Maybe there's more police. Especially if they know there's going to be protesters, there's going to be more police. Uh, but, you know, Australia is not a dis authoritarian dystopia. We still have freedoms. And the lockdown is pretty much self-implemented by the people. So the people in their brain they have a psyche. We understand we're doing this uh, so our neighbours on both sides, neighbours over there, people we got to work with, you know, don't have to go to an ICU ward in hospital. So I'm not going to comment on the, the virus because I'm not a medical practitioner. But I just feel that the Americans have a over sense of self-importance. They have pretty much an overawing bearing of freedom. You know, freedom is the only thing that's most important. My guns, my guns. See, we don't even understand what your fascination with guns is. So, sorry. So, um, yeah, so your fascination with guns is very interesting. I understand collecting guns, you know, guns are, well, I find guns interesting, do I want to own one? Yeah, probably not, but, you know, the different varieties, you know, the history, that, that's interesting, I understand that, uh, but the Americans have a more of a fascination with guns, you know, like, oh, I need to protect myself, I need it to stop the government, well, you've had government clamp down, you know, quite a few times in the United States. Did you use your guns? No. Nah. So you're not going to use your guns against your own government. Because a lot of Americans, I think, like Australians, they still have, a, a, even if it's not a trust, they still have a feeling that they can fix the government up legally. They don't need to overthrow it like they're trying to do in Burma. Because that government's broken. Uh, but yeah, you, but Australians have more of a sense of being fair to each other. You know, we want to treat each other fairly. Uh, we don't want other people in the community to be hurt. And basically, well, the protesters that we saw, you know, 
yeah, they might have started off as, you know, being freedom. You know, those uh, tradies sitting down in the street. Yeah, that's fine. I have no problem with that. Or maybe a little bit of problem, but they, they thought that they were in the right and they were peaceful. That's all right. What I think lost the protesters' support is when they went to the shrine and they desecrated it. You know, that was a very stupid thing to do. Uh, even the RSL telling them, you know, you just don't do that. You just don't desecrate someone else's sacred sites. You just don't. It's a good way to actually lose support from even those who supported you, you know. So nationalists would have viewed that great shrine as a very important thing. And you go in there, you go, I feel free to fair. No, it's just a very bad thing to do. And, you know, Australians just don't have that sense of, my freedom, my freedom. You know, we have more of a sense of community. I'm not saying that the Americans don't feel community, uh, but individualism doesn't override community. So, I myself, I'm not really that much part of the community. I do talk to the neighbours. Oh, sometimes, you know, see people walking around. Uh, but, you know, I don't want those people to get hurt. don't want my neighbours to get hurt. And... I just want everyone to be safe. So basically, Australians are not as individualistic in the sense that the freedoms are more important than someone else's health. And that's, that's why we view Americans. Their freedoms, their guns are more important than someone else living. That's basically it. And that governor of Florida, what an idiot. You know, I'm surprised you elect someone like that who really doesn't care about you. You know, I'd rather we vote someone in that actually cares about us. Now, we do have the New South Wales government. They don't care about people. Uh, but even they have had to implement lockdown. And they're conservatives. We've got South Australia, Tasmania. They're conservatives as well. And they have also implemented lockdown because they know... Uh, that, that science is important. Anyway, it's going to make some people angry. You get angry, that's your problem. You know? My freedoms, my freedoms. Nah, whatever. 